Uh, welcome to a new video. This time around it's about the LG G7 and my upgrade history to get this bad boy, a flagship from two years ago, to run Android 10. It originally shipped with Android 8 and then I upgraded it via the brand which is Tim which is a or TIM which is an Italian brand which always updates a bit late to Android 9 Pi and 9, 9 was Pi I think. No? And then it, I wanted to upgrade it to Android 10 but now we have September 2020 and I waited and waited but as other manufacturers, other brands already in Europe and the United States released Android 10 for this bad boy. This one here did not ship with Android. There was no Android 10 update. Tim didn't upgrade it until the 1st of September. So what I did is just I grabbed an image researched a bit is it possible to get an European image because I thought oh, it's European Union should be the same in every country in Europe to run Android 10 and I found the British version the German version and I just flashed in on, on it but eh, flashing this is one of the gripes I have with LG this phone is like under 200 bucks you can get it for 150 and upwards uh, right now it is a good phone for this price I have to say it has a wireless charging it has a very good quad DAC still in the European version and uh, camera is okay it's it's two years old so cannot uh, expect like wonders but still it is okay but the major gripe with LG I have is software updates LG is already late when it comes to software updates and the carriers or brands in this case Tim or TIM is even more late into the game when it comes to upgrading stuff and this is really really sad I have to say and I'm glad that I'm able to run Android 10 here right now because it brings some new features and I found out it has a better battery life. I get around eh, 10, 15, maybe 20 percentage better battery life. So it's just the amount that you notice it. it's now longer in terms of battery life, which is I think a pretty good uh, thing. So let me show you that I'm not lying here. Uh, let me go to about phone and then software info and you can see here I have running the Android 10 version and it is running with the July patches already which is I think also pretty cool. I'm not sure if I will even get update on this on this phone because it's like a Tim device originally if I get the software updates but I can upgrade manually <laughs> because I know now how. And I want to go through the really ridiculous way you have to take to upgrade this phone but it is possible so it is not don't throw this away if you get this phone for cheap you can upgrade it to android 10 and uh, even if your carrier does not want or allow you to upgrade easily to do this it is pretty complicated first of all you have to have windows because there's only one tool which allows you to upgrade this and it's a windows tool it's called lg up and you can download this for Windows. So I thought, okay, I already had these problems with upgrading my uh, BIOS on my laptop because there's no Linux support for it. So I was searching for a way to find a way to, to upgrade my BIOS. I thought, okay, a Windows VM on Linux runs pretty nice. So I'm a Linux user, so I have to do this. So I thought, okay, install LG app and download the ROM. You can find um, LG ROMs or LG firmwares has um, lots and lots of ROMs, different ROMs here for this LG device and many other LG um, devices. And you can find the LG app tool, which is slightly patched because usually you need a developer account to use this even. And uh, yeah, this uh, did work but when it comes to flashing it didn't so every time I flashed I attached my device USB path through um, it was yeah, bugging out with an error message so I had to be a bit creative so what I did after I downloaded first a Windows 7 live system which didn't boot on my system and I tried to find a notebook to boot it up it was not able to recognize my external hard drive I had all the files on and I was like ah so I downloaded managed to download Windows 10 live system which I was able to boot from where is it uh, this USB stick still has Windows 10 Live system on it. 
I was able to get my external hard drive working. I was able to get all the files install LG pub LG up. LG up was complaining about some stuff MF MFC 42 DLL missing even though it was still there. You know the Windows crap. And um, yeah it was uh, painful but uh, I had to then copy LG up folder after installation onto the external drive because it was complaining about not having enough space. Then I was able to just run the flash script because you have to just type it in the terminal because uh, you need a new LG up version that is not patched and you need then a CMD version of it, a command line version and then uh, in the end you can see it all here. I uh, will uh, show you how it worked. It flashed Android 10 on this a little bad boy and now I have Android 10 here and I'm quite happy to f figure out how this stuff works. Just like for example face unlock works. It's a bit slow. Uh, let me try to, to show you this. Uh, so I think maybe you saw it. Otherwise I'll just try to record it again. Um, it's a bit slow when it comes to face unlock uh, but the fingerprint scanner is gladly there and if I tap now you can see it is uh, pretty fast when it comes to unlocking the device and it is a good device still for the year 2020 and as you can get it for cheap I thought maybe I yeah show you how I did it how I flashed Android uh, 10 on this device and uh, yeah, uh, hope this helps. If you want to have a step-by-step -step guide, there are many, many guides outside uh, in the World Wide Web and you can get um, yeah, a step-by-step -step guide there as well. And I'm just happy that this worked out and I can use this LG G7 somehow for something, uh, maybe recording some uh, videos and uh, hope it helps uh, someone out who is interested maybe in buying a cheap but good phone who hasn't don't doesn't want to spend 300 bucks or more 200 bucks and you get a good phone it has quad dark super sound out of it uh, the the loudspeaker is a boom speaker boom box i think they know uh, so you place it on 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 um something that can vibrate and it just enormously uh, widens the sound stage that you can get out of this little speaker here and it gets pretty pretty loud I have to say. Front facing camera is okayish, the back facing camera is also okayish. Um, yeah uh, that's the LG G7 and a uh, new life been uh, uh, breathing into the LG G7. Hope you enjoyed this video, thanks for watching and uh, like, subscribe and all the shenanigans and uh, you can support me now on a patreon if you want to and uh, that's everything for this video hope you enjoyed it and until the next time bye